The legend of Naleba is a famous urban legend and folktale from the southern Indian state of Karnataka. The story revolves around a malevolent spirit or witch that is said to roam the streets and knock on doors at night. This is the basic premise that inspired the 2018 hit Bollywood film Stri. Stri was a breath of fresh air for the horror comedy genre. It was immensely successful and had countless memorable scenes. August 2024 will see the release of its sequel, Stri 2. Its trailer suggests a continuation of the main plot and story of the first installment with the same set of characters like Rajkumar Rao and Pankaj Tripathi. A small village in Madhya Pradesh called Chanderi experiences the disappearance of men at night during a festival week. It is said that Stri, a Dayan or Churel or witch, comes to abduct men at night. And the only real way to be safe is to write O Stri Kal Ana using red paint outside the walls of their homes. The tremendous success of Stri actually had a lot to do with its underlying story and premise, which is based on the legend of Nale Ba. Have you ever thought of the real true story behind Stri? Today, let's explore the real story of the folk tale and legend that is Nale Ba, which the entire Stri franchise is based on. While Stri took place in the heart of Madhya Pradesh, the real legend of Nale Ba is actually from the south. Nale Ba means come tomorrow in Kannada language and is a well-known folk legend found throughout Karnataka, particularly back in the 1990s. This phrase has been also found written on doors and walls in towns and villages, and people write it to prevent an evil spirit from entering their homes. Nale Ba became an urban legend that went very viral during the 1990s in and around Bengaluru and other parts of Karnataka. The myth basically describes a witch who roams the nights, who roams the streets at night. She knocks on doors and mimics the voices of loved ones in order to deceive people into opening their doors. She tricks them. And this results in their either abduction or death. The spirit, almost always a female, very sweetly calls out to be let in. And if the door is opened, the person who answers it is, like I said, either abducted or dies within 24 hours. So to avoid this, residents wrote Naleba, which in Kannada means come tomorrow outside their homes, usually on their doors or the entrance. And this tricks the ghost into coming back the next day, thus perpetually delaying its entry. So they don't deny her coming in, they just postpone it and they keep postponing it every day. Thus this was repeated and such was the fear that it is said entire villages after sunset and by the time it became night would be completely empty and deserted. Everyone would lock themselves inside their homes. It is important to note, however, that there isn't just only one, but a few different variations of the legend. Like Stri, according to another legend, evil spirits or witches roam at night and specifically target children and abduct them. In some variations, the spirit calls out people's names, much like in the movie Stri calling out Vicky or other names in a very captivating way, luring them to turn around. And if someone does respond or turn around, they are either abducted or worse, they are said to die by vomiting blood. Another variation describes the spirit as a bridal ghost who is searching for her husband. She takes away the man of the house, who is often the sole earner, so this brings entire misfortune and ruin to the entire family. In the movie, Stri, as we find out, was actually a good lady. She had been wronged by men or society or at large, and this is why she was taking revenge. Stri was actually once a beautiful courtesan at the wife, who was the object of attention and desired by many men in town. She eventually found her true love, someone who genuinely respected her and cared for her, and they were set to marry, but tragedy struck because on their wedding night, both she and her husband were killed by the jealous townspeople. And ever since then, her spirit, still dressed in her wedding dress or Jorda, has haunted and sought her true love and basically aims to abduct every man in town for revenge. At the end of the movie, after lessons are learnt, instead of writing O Sri Kal Ana, asking her to come tomorrow, the village folk write O Sri Rakshakarna. They erect a statue in her honor and her respect because O Sri Rakshakarna means O Lady, please protect us. They finally come to fear and respect her. 
Therefore, one key takeaway from this legend of Naleba is to learn to respect females honorably because they're definitely not ones to be pushed around or insulted. Over the years, the legend of Naleba has become a sort of cultural phenomenon and has permeated local culture and folklore, becoming a well-known story amongst residents. In some places, the story has become associated even with April Fool's Day, where people write Naleba as a prank. However, for many, it isn't something that you mess around with. It remains a serious superstition that's meant to protect against the supernatural. It has also inspired various forms of media, including TV shows, movies, and literature, with three, of course, being the most famous. In fact, the 2019 book titled India's Most Haunted Tales of Terrifying Places, written by horror and thriller writer K. Harikumar, drew inspiration from the Naleba incident for one of its stories. The concept also appears in the core plot for the 1990 Kannada language movie Nigura Rahasya, which was a suspense thriller starring yesteryear's legend Shankar Nag, who was the brother of Anant Nag, who you may recall are both of Malgudi Day's fame. In recent years, the story of Naleba has seen a resurgence in popular culture, particularly due to its eerie and intriguing nature. It's very scary. Friends prank one another or give dares to roam their streets alone at night. It has been featured in discussions about urban legends and supernatural tales from around the world. While originating in Karnataka, Similar legends exist in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh as well, which are both neighboring states. In fact, interestingly, there was even a case of a village in Thailand where healthy young men began to disappear right underneath their beds. The trailer of Stri 2 is going to focus on the backstory of Stri and the new character of evil Sarkara. But keeping in line with the root story and legend, it does seem likely that the abductions of the village men will still continue. It'll be interesting, however, to see who does the abductions. Stri, who happened to have a change of heart in the first movie, or Sarkata. So overall, the tale of Naleba is a fascinating example of how folklore can influence local customs and beliefs. It blends superstition with cultural practices and fear, and this leads to creating a lasting legend. So that's it for today's video, dear viewers. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think of the new movie and your own thoughts. Until next time, take care.